Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel where we're playing Skyrim's main questline and finally we're here at Southern Guard where we have to get to the Hall of Valor to find out how to finally put pay to the near-do-well Alduin once and for all. It's been a long questline, good in places, not so good in others, but we got some great shouts and other bits and bobs, so uh, let's crack on and do this thing. Now, just for your sake, I've searched all over this place. There's nothing to pick up, no hidden uh, tress, uh, chests or, or treasures, etc. So uh, just head straight to the Hall of Valor. Just keep on running. The uh, fog seems to disappear in front of you. Oh, you can use a clear skies if you want to, but uh, Turn hey, back, it's up to you. Traveller. Terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil. But vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Uh, who are you? Near Giant's Gap, in the gloom before dawn, we marched unsuspecting into the Imperium's trap. Then we stood and fought, our shield wall defending, until by dawn's light, the legion's ranks. Okay, look, I'll just talk over this dialogue here because I found out something I didn't realise uh, before. Um, you can get to show him the way or say, follow me. Um, if he follows you and you run into the fog, Alduin will actually uh, kill him. You won't see it, but uh, he'll be taken. So it's up to you if you want to do that, but uh, I would suggest just exit out the dialogue and keep on running. And it's also possible you'll meet uh, people that you've killed in here as well. On certain quest lines, especially in the Civil War, I think you meet the depending on which side you went on the Civil War, you'll meet the people you killed. I saw it fair when first and I some of them won't be very pleased to see you. The pain and fear vanished, dreamlike, and a vision beckoned. Shores Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I have lost the way and wander blindly. Hurry before Alduin your light devours. Bring well, he's very poetic, isn't he? Our hard fate. Beware, and don't worry, I'm here to kill Alduin. Waits within the mist. Okay, there's Alduin. Yeah, hit the clear skies and uh, there you go. I always go this way. There's the wee beastie himself. And uh, put the ethereal shout on. Oh, you can climb down this, I bet, but I like doing this. Yee. There's nothing hard in this particular uh, uh, quest line or part of the quest. What brings you, Wayfarer friend? To wander here in Sovngarde, so a faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm since first he set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. But sure restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counsel. Your doom was oh, I seek entrance to the Hall of Valor. What shade are you as usually here it passes? But living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? By the right of birth, I am Dragonborn. It's been too long since last I faced a doom driven hero of the dragon. 
Can I enter the Hall of Valor? By decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Okay, so now we have to find him, put him down. And I just go ethereal again. And just beat the snots out of him. <laughs> You're my bitch. Can stay down. It is long since one of the living has entered here. The shore's favor follows. He took that kick in pretty well, didn't he? Anyway, so head uh, into the Hall of Valor. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormleth, the fearless, glad hearted in battle. Hekan, the valiant, heavy handed warrior. Feldir, the old. He has a couple of little characters uh, you can meet here. Um, I'll just show you them quickly. Like I say, you can meet more depending on what quest you've done or, or who you've killed. You can meet quite a few uh, people. Just a little bit of dialogue. Ah, Olaf One Eye. Fellowship the way of the voice. Find welcome here. Easy. But if you stray from wisdom, then to sovereign God you will not return. So you can have a little chat and you get a little bit of dialogue from them. But by Shaw's command, we curb our wrath. A cup dragonborn to death and glory. Fate drives you, but you follow your own path. Choose wisely, lest you wander into evil. There you go. Okay, let's go and have a chat with these people. Alduin's doom is now ours to seal. Just speak the word, and with high hearts... Gormleth the Gobby, I call her. Smite the worm, wherever Comrade, my disciples still follow the difficult path. The way of the voice is neither wide nor Oh, shut up, Jürgen. I've already had a chat with you. From wisdom, is his shield and cloak, but with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Tell the speech wisdom. The world eater. So basically what you're saying is we can't find him in the mist and uh, just one of us can't get rid of the mist, so we have to work together. And then unsheath our blades in desperate battle with our black wing To battle, my friends! Okay, just get yourself ready. Okay, the first shout you're gonna need is clear skies. Uh, come equipped whichever way you want, however you want to fight the dragon. I'm going to pop out my Atronax, which is my usual technique with dragons. Because um, they've got a very good range attack. I'll use a Storm Atronach as well. Because uh, very few things in style of Skyrim have got resistance to uh, shock attack. Now, if you're particularly weak, what you can do is hang back and let these guys fight him. You just pop in shouts and... Uh, Obviously, in particular, dragon rend uh, and snipe him from a distance. We cannot fight the foe in this mist. Clear skies, combine our shouts. 
I was trying to get a better angle for that shout, it just turned me round, faced the completely wrong way. <laughs> it didn't seem to make any difference. Okay, we have uh, one more shot at it. Stand fast! His strength is failing! Once more and his might will be broken! Again. No. Okay, then quickly get yourself ready. Okay, here he comes. You will get staggered a lot in this fight as well. And the dragon wrench out, wasn't that? And because I'm playing in uh, third person, I found it quite difficult to actually hit it. He's uh, quite a mobile target. <laughs> Great view, guys. Sorry. Got him back time. Actually, you got to bring him down as much as possible. Just keep on plugging away. Got it. Of course, once he's managed to get to a certain point, he'll uh, have to land anyway. And he's done. Good night, boy. Now, if you get to it quickly, you get the option to search out of it. And I spam the, uh, the E button there, and you can't get anything from him, so I'll just let you know that. So, don't even bother trying. In fact, you don't get any loot from Southern Guard at all. And there's a couple of bits and bobs on the, uh, the feasting table there. Um, but nothing worth mentioning. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever. But your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. All hail the Dragonborn! Hail her with great praise! Okay, there's no point really hanging around unless you want to just do a bit of exploring. Um, so I suggest just go uh, straight back. I'm ready to return to Tamriel. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. 
But he'll give you a shout where you can um, summon a hero of Sovereign Guard. Um, he's about a level 40 uh, warrior. Okay, so when you get returned to Nguyen, um, you'll end up on the uh, throat of the world. And this is where all the uh, dragons uh, come to pay homage to you, obviously including Parthenex. I'm not sure what that dragon is there, or who he is. And you can have a bit of dialogue, dialogue with uh, Parthenex. You can ask him if he's happy about it or not. Mighty victory, Sahroch Kondrach. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. And that's it. You can always return to Throat of the World and Parthenex will be there so you can uh, meditate on words of power and change, chop and change as you want. So Parthenex is now going to try and teach the uh, other dragons the way of the voice. And one last little bit of dialogue you're going to have is with Odaving. And this is actually the reason why I did uh, this quest line, actually. Um, I just kind of feel that uh, the Dragonborn should be able to summon a, a dragon into uh, or to help him. I 
doubt many will wish to exchange Alduin's lordship for the tyranny of Parthenax's way of the voice. As for myself, you've proven your mastery twice over. Furi Dovakin, I gladly acknowledge the power of your throne. So, when you use a dragon call shout, he will come and help you. And you can't fry him till you get the bend will shout, so uh, I'll be going for that soon. And for me, for role playing, I just think that's what, what you should do. Um, you know, have a dragon fight for you, be able to bend their will so you can fry them. Um, that's fantastic. Anyway, so I did a little bit of running around and um, nobody really gave a damn that we'd killed Aldwin, the World Eater, um, except the Greybeards, so I'll quickly show you what they had to say. Yeah, it's quite funny, um, you know, you've, you've uh, rid the world of all sorts of nasty beasts in, in the game and uh, you've uh, destroyed Aldwin, the uh, World Eater, and uh, nobody seems to give a crap and if you still accidentally step on a bloody chicken, they'll all attack you. They're a fickle bunch of bastards in Skyrim, that's for sure. Anyway, you don't have to do this, but uh, I like to do it. It's not part of any quest, but have a chat with Arnjir. And returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? Yes, I went to Sovngarde and killed Alduin there. It is over. Perhaps it was all worth it in the end. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? Or will you merely fade from history, unremembered? Let the way of the voice be your guide path of wisdom will be clear to you. Breath and focus, Dragonborn. Your future lies before you. I like Angier. But before he goes, I want to find another word of power. Yeah, my little project is to uh, discover um, and show you where all the uh, shouts are and which ones are locked behind uh, quests, etc. So I'm going to keep on plugging these out for a while and then kind of pull them all together uh, for you. He may be at the end of time to fulfill his destiny as the world eater. But that is for the gods to decide. You have done your part. Okay, have you learned any words of power? He felt a whisper of a word. Show you where its echo can be found. There you go, job done. Okay, that's the uh, job done. It's uh, tiring work, being uh, becoming Dragonborn and Dragon Slayer. So I better pop off home, see the missus, uh, have my tea, and uh, walk the dog. So hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!